My name is Shamir Marston. I am the proud completer of a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration with a concentration in Accounting and the elected student speaker for this commencement ceremony today. Protocol having been established on behalf of the graduating class, let me say, welcome. My fellow graduates, it is with great pride that I stand here to represent our united voice today. I am humbled and honored to be a part of such an elite family. I am proud to witness my fellow graduates decorating the room with their smiles today, knowing that we have excelled academically. Let me take you on a short walk down memory lane where it all started for me. After completing my associate degree, I started looking for the perfect institution to complete my studies. After some research, I entered the main building of the International College of the Cayman Islands. Students walked briskly to classes, and faculty, who obviously knew each student by name, were engaged in polite conversations. As laughter filled the hallways, I was overwhelmed with a sense of closeness, unity, and family. Going in, much like any other new student, I was excited to be embarking on this new journey. However, like anything else, there was that initial spark of enthusiasm for the first two quarters or so. But as school progressed, the load got heavier, trying to balance work, family, school. We had moments of doubt whether we could make it. I do recall I had my overwhelming moment in the middle of a quarter, and it was my family member, namely Ms. Anita Fasek Khan, who sat me down, counseled me, and motivated me to continue. We students understand the support of which I speak and came to depend on it as we studied. Let us not forget those special courses like the International Seminar in Miami and Atlanta, where we took learning outside of the classroom with Scott Cummings, the one who taught us the definition of due dates. <laughs> special thanks to Mr. Wayne McManus, affectionately called Santa, who ensured that we understood not just the solutions, but the step to getting there. Not to mention Dr. Huseman, <laughs> who reminded us with his statistics class of why we should have paid attention in high school math. <laughs> Special thanks to Christine Smith, Stephen Hayes, Hilson Grace, and Michelle Prendergast for giving us some of the longest papers, what we must admit, most interesting topics that we've ever come across. We are all happy to have survived those mock interview sessions organized by Ms. Melissa Bent Hamilton, now our academic dean. Thanks to our outstanding on-site librarian, Ms. Michelle Gray-Williams, my study companion, as well as our online librarian, Ms. Navlet Bishop, for providing us with reliable sources for our papers. I am sure the ICCI family will forever have the memory of our beloved Ms. Rochester, who taught us the fundamentals of speech. Another benefit of the student of the ICCI was getting involved in the community. Thanks to Bunny Anglin, who guided me through my internship at the Cayman Islands Youth Anti-Crime Trust, a nonprofit organization. So all lecturers who understood our journey, we say thank you for your outstanding lectures, patience, and efforts with us. Special thanks, too, to our devoted and well-loved auxiliary team, Mr. and Mrs. Powery, AKA Ms. Vai and Raymond who continue to maintain a clean and comfortable learning environment for us. To our loved ones who have supported us through our journey, giving us that push to finish, we reiterate, thank you. To, uh, thank you for every sacrifice made in order for us to be here celebrating this milestone today. Last and certainly not least, we say thank you to God, giving us the strength and wisdom to accomplish our milestones in our lives. As graduates, we are now ambassador for change. So I urge you to continue to strive for excellence. We have lived the motivational words of Henry Longfellow, and I quote, the heights of great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, were toiling upward in the night, end quote. What we are symbolizing here today is not just a stepping stone for ourselves, but to others to motivate them to strive to achieve their goals. So yes, this is a day of celebration. What we have put in place 
is a great foundation. Ready for success? Let your next move be your next move. Go forth carelessly and create the change you wish to see. Thank you.